first of those factors is what's going on in the United States. Over the last two to three months, US price data has softened substantially, and there are further signs that the US economy will be going into recession. And that's really important for the dollar because it suggests that if the Fed needs to, they can cut rates in the second half of this year. And that's ING's call. We're looking for a 100 basis points easing cycle, which will be a big bearish factor for the dollar. The second factor is what's going on with European energy prices. If you recall last summer with European natural gas prices spiking, the euro was under a lot of pressure. That was understandable as European import costs went through the roof and the traditional trade surpluses were wiped out. So the much warmer than expected winter and the lower European natural gas prices have really supported the euro and our team are looking for a much lower profile than they were late last year. The overall scenario is probably more positive from the euro than we were thinking late last year. The third factor is the U-turn in China's COVID policy. So Chinese growth prospects are in the process of being revised higher and that's better news for the global economy and better news for the euro. Bringing it all together, we are revising our euro dollar forecasts higher. We think euro dollar can trade up to the 115 area in the second quarter. For the second half, we think euro dollar will probably trade a 110 to 115 range. Uh, we're not looking for any higher levels because we think European gas prices will probably start to move higher in the late summer and those question marks about the Eurozone business model and it de its dependence on gas will prove a headwind for the Eurodollar.